All right, what is going on guys? Today, I have a pretty short and quick one for you, but essentially I wanted to give you five SaaS companies that I've been using for insider biz and in my own side projects that I really like that are, in my opinion, very underrated. What I wanna do is just give you a very high level overview of what they do, who they are, and then sort of just let you do the rest. This isn't meant to be a tutorial on any of these, but I just wanna show you the sites, tell you what they do, point you in the right direction, and then you can take it from there. All right, so for the first one I want to talk about is Airplane. Airplane is a sort of back-end management as a service provider, but they allow you to add more code to it than you would normally assume from a back-end service. So essentially what they do is they allow you to set up uh, like cron jobs, they allow you to set up tasks, workflows, and even create custom internal dashboards using your own data. It's um, a very, very cool sort of thing that I use to schedule the form parsing events in one of the earlier iterations of Insider Viz, and over the past few months, they've been rapidly growing, adding new stuff. Very, very cool. I highly recommend going and taking a look at them, especially if you have a completed app. A lot of the sort of annoying management problems that you're gonna quickly run into once you get in production, they will help you solve, so definitely go take a look at them. Okay, so the next platform I wanna talk about is Stitch. Stitch is an authentication provider. I wanted to put one of these on here. The typical ones you'll always see are like Firebase Auth, Auth0, and then Stitch is, it's a pretty big one. It's got a lot of huge clients and it's pretty well known, but I think it's the least known of all of them. And I really like the way that they implement everything. Their developer experience is excellent. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a quick out of the box authentication solution, take a look at them. Um, authentication is kind of a tricky concept. And it's, I personally think that using a provider is often not a bad idea. At bare minimum, you should be using something like NextAuth that's a sort of framework-specific implementation of authentication, but using a provider never hurts, so go check them out, see if you like it, and yeah. Okay, so the next one I want to talk about is Upstash. This is one of my favorites and one that I use all the time. It is a serverless Redis solution. So if you're not familiar with Redis, Redis is basically just the, it's a faster database that loads the data into memory. It can be backed up and saved to hard disk, but effectively the idea is it's being saved in memory or RAM, so that's way, way faster. And what you wanna use this for is stuff like caching, but these days they're getting fancier with it and there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. There is a rate limiting implementation for Next that's super, super cool, helps keep your apps protected and secured. And it also, you can do some authentication stuff with this. So if you're looking for a Redis provider, I highly recommend Upstash. Quick and easy to use, feels a lot like a Vercel or a Planet Scale or any of these modern um, web apps, so. Okay, and then another thing I wanted to make sure that I put on here was an analytics provider that wasn't Google Analytics. Everyone knows, knows about Google Analytics. Most sites on the internet use it, but Google Analytics is fundamentally flawed. It will, you will lose a lot of the users and you won't get a lot of the data you need from Google Analytics. So the way these ad blockers and stuff work is they know what the domains to look for are. They know to look for Google Analytics, to look for all these different things, and they'll find that and they will block it versus Fathom will not be blocked because it runs through your own custom API and it runs through your, um, Fathom will not be blocked because it's running through your app and it has a privacy focused system. I'm not entirely certain exactly how they implement it, but the point is you won't be losing all these data points. You won't lose the data points of an ad blocker and it will help make sure that you actually get those analytics data points. Plus it doesn't have all of the under the table stuff that Google Analytics does with your data. So that's always a plus. Um, extremely easy to use, extremely fast, great UI. And now finally, this is probably the, by far the smallest one on here. I found this very recently when I was looking at doing email for Insider Viz and it is Plunk. Plunk is a brand new, it is basically event-driven email sending, which I really like. We ended up using SendGrid, but this is something that I'm going to use on smaller side projects for quick email implementation. The reason for that is because of how freaking nice and easy it is. So the way it works is you can just create these email events. So I could just say create a new project. So I would post that event to the API, tell them which email to send it to, and then I'll send that email. So you just create these easy markdown templates, create these events, and then to call them from your web app, it's as simple as just sending a post request to an API. This is a lot, this is, makes emails really easy and it's really right, lightweight, it's really fast. I highly recommend trying this out, especially for um, the early stages of, stages of an app that's not built around sending emails that just needs to send like subscription notifications and thank yous, that kind of thing. Give this a shot. It's really, really intuitive and I think you will like it. So yeah, 
that's about it. I know this is very quick, not a huge amount here, but I sort of just wanted to point you in the direction of these five things. I'm working on some much bigger stuff for next week, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.